One person is dead, two others injured after a shooting that happened in Statesboro. We're now joined by WJCL 22 News' Tia Maggio. She's live at the Pines Apartments. That's where the crime took place. And Tia, the fatal shooting happened near Georgia Southern University. Yeah, Greg. Now, Statesboro police received the call around 5.30 p.m. today. And if you look behind me, you can see that five hours later, we're still seeing that heavy police presence. There is still crime scene tape up. Now, what we know so far is that a total of three people were involved. What we were told is that two people were inside their car, two men. One man was outside the car when they exchanged gunfire. Now, all three were wounded, but the man outside the car unfortunately died died at the scene. Now the two men inside the car were actually able to drive themselves to the hospital to receive treatment and they will survive, people please say. Now they also say that all parties involved are accounted for. And we're actually joined now by a Georgia Southern student that lives nearby. First, Hunter, can you tell me, has anything ever like this happened before on campus? Yes, actually, I live at Monarch 301 and recently, within the last couple weeks, there was actually a shooting at the Hudson, which is right across the street from us. All right, now kind of taking that to a factor, I mean, after tonight and after what you just told me, do you feel safe here on campus? I mean, honestly, it is something to be concerned about, you know, with all these shootings and everything else happening, it is something to be concerned about for sure. Absolutely, well, thank you so much, Hunter. Thank I you. appreciate it. Now, Statesboro Police also tell us anyone that has any information about tonight's shooting that they please contact them. Reporting in Statesboro, Tia Maggio, WJCL 22 News. Back Tia, to you, Greg. Tia Maggio, thank you so very much. Now, of course, folks, this is a developing story. Uh, go to WJCL.com because we'll have updates there.